On June 20th, 2012, CMLL held a press conference, during which Lucha Libre priest Fray Tormenta announced that Dragon Lee was to take over the role of Mystical. He took over the highly successful role following the character's original performer's departure. He had of course signed with WWE in January 2011 and is now known of course as St. Cara. Lee wrestled his final match under his old persona on June the 24th when he, Diamante and Triton defeated Cancerbero, Niebla Roja and Raziel via disqualification. Afterwards Roja attacked Lee, removed his mask and tore it to pieces. For the next six weeks, Mystical 2 went on a publicity tour to promote the new upcoming era of Mystical, which is appropriate as the entrance music he is using is seemingly another remix of the song Amino by the group Era. This brings us to Friday, August 3rd, where Mystical 2 made his in-ring debut on a six-man tag team match, where he teamed with Angel de Oro and Valiente to defeat Hephaestus, Euphoria and Mephisto. This event took place in Arena Mexico in Mexico City, one of CMLL's own arenas. Mystico was presented as a technical or good guy in this match. This was probably the obvious way to present him, as the original for most of his time as that character of Mystico was also a technical. The wrestler formerly known as Dragon Lee had a lot to live up to in this match and I think overall it was a good performance. The Rudos or bad guys of Ephisto, Euphoria and Mephisto dominated this match handing out a lot of the offence. There was a lot of traditional Lucha Libre spots in this match including Mystico's mask being removed, torn and him being triple teamed on occasion. A lot of athleticism was shown by all the participants as there was a lot of high flying moves in the match's action. Mystico also shows off his potential here as he performs several topes or dives to the outside. This actually includes a shooting star press and a high springboard into a hurricane runner. The new Mystico is already renowned for dives over the ring posts and a lot of aerial moves that whether it's simply the style of Lucha Libre or his own style reminds people of some of the very best high flyers of the past. Valiente and Angel de Oro take a lot of punishment in this match but really the Rudos carry the match quite a bit and have the technical team on the back foot for I'd say most of the time. This may come as a surprise to some that such an advertised debut as the new star does not dominate, but you have to consider the Rudos have worked together as a stable for some time now. They are called Los Hijos de Averno, or it's Spanish for the Sons of Hell. And it's not a traditional approach for CMLL to allow one star to be so dominant, even on their debut or return match. Although placed as a good guy, Mystico is booed during this match. However, this not, need not concern CML as Arena Mexico fans, especially in recent months, have been very much behind the Rudos, and chants of Rudos, Rudos, Rudos can be heard throughout. A good debut by Mystico too. He showed some good potential, and being barely in his 20s, may yet become one of the most respected luchadors in years to come. This said, I hope people give Mystico a chance. The original became a huge star, but over a period of time. More time and experience is needed to turn the former Dragon Lee into a competent veteran. He is scheduled to work with some of the top warriors of CMLL, including Ultimo Guerrero, so the opportunity to develop will surely come. Good luck to him and let's see where CMLL places him in the big anniversary show coming up in just a couple of months time. There's a good video if you want to see this match on the YouTube user Retro 80s 90s channel which is spelled R-E-T-R-O-H-0-S 
S, which is a good video taken from a fan's cam. I look forward to seeing the official video and presentations from CML soon, and to hear what people thought of the debut of this new mystical. Certain, one thing is certain though, a new mystical era has now dawned in CMLL.